as a musician, auditions are such a huge part of our DNA. We have to prepare and perform so often for things like youth orchestras, all state, college, even going into the professional world, you still have to audition. And there can be such a mystery about how to do it, how to prepare, and what to actually do on the game day. So here are 10 tips and tricks to make your audition preparation better. So right off the bat, you wanna make sure that you're writing down things, goals, aspirations, what is going on, when the audition is, and everything surrounding the, the process. You need to be writing them down. How long are you practicing? What are you practicing? What has seemed to help your practice and made you feel better? And what has uh, maybe been more challenging for you? If you're able to write these things down and journal them, you really start getting an idea of what exactly is pushing you along and what might be holding you back. Okay, so we're gonna write on a piece of paper, what do we need to be working on? Strengths and weaknesses, things that uh, you should be fundamentally addressing. And then what do you need to know? The etudes that you're given, the excerpts you have to work on. And we're going to number those. I just put placeholders here. I want you to list a number for each etude or excerpt on a scale from one to 10, and how confident you are that you could play through that effortlessly. Put stars onto the ones that you need to be working on for the week. The idea is each week, each time you come back to this list, these numbers are gonna go up. And by the end of this, by the audition date, hopefully you have eight, nines, and tens. That's what we're really looking for. One of the biggest tips that has improved my auditioning, improved my learning, and so much more I got from the book, What Makes It Stick, from Peter C. Brown. The biggest thing I got away from this one was space practice, interleaved practice. It's so much better not only for your body, for your um, learning, if you can space out the amount of time you have throughout the day. Say you wanna practice an hour a day. It's more beneficial for you to practice 30 minutes in the morning and 30 minutes in the afternoon rather than that one hour at the first part of the day. That's because the more you're thinking about it, the more you come back to it, the more connections in your mind of what to do, of how to do it, and you'll become more consistent because of it. And a huge part of preparing for an audition is consistency. Making sure that you know when you show up on that audition day, you have a pretty good idea of how it's gonna go. So the next tip is recording yourself. This is one that I do every single day. Every single one of my teachers taught me it's it's probably the most eye-opening experience you can do for yourself because you get an, a mirror image of what you sound like and what you're actually doing. You can pick up a lot just by um, recording an excerpt, recording your scales, uh, and just figuring out where am I messing up? There, there's a couple ways you can record yourself. First, there's the, the way that you can just put your phone on the stand and just listen back. Play, take a break, listen. What do you notice? What kind of issues are coming up? And what part of the excerpts are most challenging for you? And the more you do that, the, the better you'll know how your playing sounds, not only to yourself, but to others. So you'll not only get a better idea of how you're playing. But when it comes to an audition, if you're playing that way and you say, this is how I've sounded in the practice room, then you'll know that you're doing the best you can. Another thing you can do is spacing out when you listen to the recordings. I think the biggest part of this is just trying to keep your mind in that place of not only improving, but preparing for this audition. And the more you stay in that world, the better you'll become, the more consistent you'll be, 
and you'll start seeing some real results. Another part of preparing for an audition, not only preparing the excerpts and the A2s you have to play, but knowing the fundamentals behind it. Things like scales, things like playing with drones, making sure you're, you're playing in tune, knowing scales and patterns, having a good sense of theory, being able to produce a great sound, and a musical sound, being able to phrase and, and articulate if you work on your fundamentals on a daily basis, you could, you could do 60% of fundamental work and that'll benefit the etudes and the excerpts exponentially that the pieces get easier. You might start, you might start by looking at a, a piece of music and say, how am I gonna play this? You can let that piece off to the side, work on your fundamentals, and then I promise you, in two weeks, three weeks, that piece is going to look like nothing. You're like, why was I so scared in the first place? When you really take the time to work on your fundamentals, you will be much better off for it. I guarantee you. Speaking on the more physical side, what can you do to prepare for your audition or making the, the day of the audition even better. Make sure that you're eating and sleeping properly and just make sure that you're taking care of your immune system. You don't wanna be sick uh, on the audition day that it's just so awful. There's a lot of stressors that can come along with the audition. And if you aren't taking care of your body, these stresses can literally make you sick. And then you've done all this work and your body is not really able to go as far as you want it to go. So make sure you're taking care of your immune system. You're, you're taking your vitamins, your supplements, eating healthy and sleeping well, making sure that you're warming up, maybe exercising even before you play or stretching, yoga, part of your meditation, anything to get some blood flowing, anything to get your body feeling nice and loose, right? We don't want a lot of tension and we don't want that stress to come in and we don't want to be susceptible to feeling physically unable to play something. Another part of it is just keep doing it. Keep recording yourself. Keep practicing fundamentals. Keep working and writing things down. Keep spacing your practice out. And on top of that, reach out to people. Have them listen to your playing. Do things like mock auditions where you play the piece for you, you play the piece for somebody. You don't even have to get them to comment on what you're what you're playing. Having that feeling of going through the process, getting your nerves up, maybe doing some jumping jacks, something to get your blood flowing. Um, and then play your etude or excerpt, that's going to be one of the closest things physically you can do to replicate what that audition is going to feel like. Whatever gets that nerve in you and that blood flowing a little bit um, and that excitement, that's what we're looking for. And it's, it's good. It's good that you can incorporate some of these things but the most important part is you just stay consistent in doing them. Make sure you're taking lessons. Getting that professional advice is such a huge part of what we do as musicians. We're constantly needing a sense of community. We need other people and other people need you to uplift and support the your circle, the people you're playing with, your your friends and colleagues. It's so important to be getting that um, that advice. And you get a good sense of where you are. You know, having a teacher support you and be there to guide you along your way is really invaluable. Meditation and visualization is Another aspect that I would challenge you to look into. It might sound weird at first, but 
if you just sit down and for 10 minutes just meditate or visualize yourself doing going through the audition process what it's going to look like on the day of seeing some of the people there just trying to cancel out all these questions in your mind and really just trying to visualize yourself being successful when you're auditioning it's better to just imagine yourself being successful doing better than the other way around it's certainly something that has impacted my pre preparation for an audition and I'm curious if you if you tried that out there are a lot of resources like Headspace Calm any of those meditation apps where you can just sit down maybe 10 minutes and uh, see what you get out of it. One of the last things that I want to talk about is just listening. Not listening just passively or something like that, but really taking out a focused effort to listen to what people are saying to you, what your private instructor is teaching or trying to guide you into, your recordings, truly listening to them, listening to other CDs or people's playing that you really admire and trying to emulate that sound. But it really comes from just listening. Um, listening to your favorite music, listening to the music in your instrument type, and just really giving yourself a picture in your mind of how you want to sound. There are so many resources on YouTube of people auditioning, how they sound auditioning, professionals auditioning, master classes about people performing. You can use all these resources and if you, if you really absorb it and listen, you will have an upper edge on so many people. Ask questions too. If you're curious about how something works, make sure you're asking questions that can benefit your, your musicianship. You know, what are things that you're curious about and that you want to learn out of your instrument? These are kind of connected with meditating and the physical side of playing, just listening to not only these things that we've talked about, recordings and and your your lesson teacher and your band director but also just listening to your body listening to the the stress that you have listening to yourself to know when it's enough to take a break stay balanced and meditate and those are different forms of listening um, but they're just as important overall just having the trust in yourself and knowing that you can do it, that you've prepared for this long, and these people in the audition committee that are listening to you, they want you to succeed. One of the most exciting parts of being a musician is knowing that we're all in this together, that we're all doing the same things, playing the same etudes, same excerpts, same scales, and we're just trying to figure it all out. So, these have been some tips and tricks on how to prepare for an audition. I hope this helps you in getting in that process, preparing, and just getting to that audition day and crushing it. I know you can do it. My name's Steven Osborne. I'll see you guys later.